The only reason I wanted to watch Tadpole, in fact the only reason that I became aware of its existence, is because I absolutely love B.B. New Earth. And the only reason I kept watching it is because I love B.B. New Earth. Now that's not to say that the 2002 film is a bad film. It's simply that I am not really a big fan about coming of age, a big fan of coming of age films, unless they're maybe a little unique or there's something about them that's really different or innovative. This one's pretty basic and I think there's definitely an audience for it, mainly teenagers who are coming of age. But for me, it was mediocre, but still watchable. And I do think that the lighting was very good. We had some really nice shots. It was really beautifully shot. I just don't think it was the narrative was that interesting. So it's directed by Gary Winnick um, and written by Heather McGowan and Neil Smuller. And the description from IMDb is as follows. Coming of age story about a suave 15 year old prep school student who falls in love with his stepmother. When her best friend responds to his advances, he suddenly finds himself in way over his head. So basically he is in love with his stepmother Eve, played by Scorny Weaver. Fantastic job, of course. And he ends up sleeping with her friend Diane, played by B.B. Newworth. And B.B. Newworth is, she plays a chiropractor and she has some fantastic costumes and she looks amazing. And given that I watched this for her, I was very pleased that she was in it quite a lot. She had a really good role in it. I liked her character. I like what her character did and how the character was perceived. Sigourney Weaver is great. Obviously, it's a bit odd that he's in love with his stepmother and it's very questionable the only person he kind of tells to begin with is his best friend and his best friend is like what um so it is very peculiar and it will make you question things and morals but also he's a young 15 year old boy going through all kinds of hormonal changes and if he's attracted to a woman he's not blood related to is it that bad i'm not saying yes or no either way but you can watch it and make up your mind. The story is told well. I think the development is good. The pacing is good. The rate at which the character develops, it's um, Aaron Stanford plays Oscar, and the, way, the rate at which he develops as a person and he learns things and goes on this journey is very good. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the development of the narrative. Just simply for me, as somebody who's not that taken with coming-of-age films... It was a bit meh, but I kind of, that's not the film's fault, that's just entirely my fault. But I did love B.B. Newworth in this. It's got 6.1 out of 10 on IMDb, which is really respectable. It's had three wins and four nominations. It won the National Board of Review for Excellence in Filmmaking. Um, the Seattle Film Cricket, Crit, Crickets Critics Awards gave the award for Best Supporting Actress to B.B. Newworth. Obviously fantastic. And it got the Dramatic Award at Sundance. So it's done well. It's got a good reception. As I said, I hadn't heard of it until I was looking for New Earth films. But I'm glad I've seen it. I didn't dislike the time I spent watching it. I won't watch it again. Maybe for New Earth, but not for the narrative. If you're interested in coming-of-age stories or you like BB New Earth, I'd say give it a go.